out of all the stuff that you have on this table that you've already seen, what do you think he's going to drop? I'm definitely feeling graphics card. I feel like he's just going to be like, look at this, it's heavy, and then drops it. You can like really hear the weight of it. You don't want to like, like you don't want something like that just like waggle wobbling around in the case, yeah. In 2020, many of the things that bring us joy have been canceled. LTX, Ellen DeGeneres, Among Us 2, although arguably that one was not really that big of a deal, and almost ROG Rig Reboot. But no, we said, we will find a way to do ROG Rig Reboot, even if we have to bring Emma here remotely using one of these stupid remote presence devices, and we'll find a way for her to build a computer, damn it, sponsored by ASUS ROG, and, and I'm gonna be her hands, and she's gonna tell me what to do, and I'm gonna act like I have no idea how to build a computer, and I'm pretty sure she has no idea how to build a computer, so this is gonna be a total show, but we're all gonna have a lot of fun. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna just move you here. Uh, that's, that's cool. Okay. With ROG Rig Reboot, you showed us your current setup, but you didn't really talk about it. What is your current setup? So my current setup is actually a hand-me-down laptop. It's kind of like a family laptop that I've had for like years. I mean, I remember going into like some like computer store like maybe six years ago and my dad picking out like probably like the cheapest option. What's Windows 7? With a new computer, what's the first game you're gonna be playing? Angry Birds Rio? I mean, yes, besides Angry Birds Rio. Um, gosh, I wanna play Among Us, cause like, I don't even think my computer could, can handle that. It can't, it can't handle Among Us? I don't think so. I can't download Steam on that thing. But yeah, I'll probably get Red Dead. That game looks like a lot of fun. So have you ever built a computer before? Uh, simple answer, no. Complicated answer. No, I have <laughs> no, not. No, I have not. Wonderful. I love it. I've watched Linus's first person computer build because I was looking into building my own computer, but then I saw you were doing the ROG rig reboot thing. So I was like, oh, just to like do that. That sounds fun. So if you were to build a computer, where would you start? So I know this. You start at the motherboard. You start at the motherboard. Good. Okay. I'm going to give you four options here and I would like you to identify the motherboard. Which of these four things uh, it's going so fast. What's the motherboard? The third one. The third one. All right. So, Emma, we're going to start with the ROG. Wait, no, that's not a motherboard. Strix sorry, what's that now? What's that now? That, that's not, that's, that's not, not a motherboard. motherboard. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, you sorry. Okay. So, which, which, which one was it then? Which one was it? Hold on. Okay, what's, what's the big one the on big the right? The big one on oh, the right? No, that's... Uh, this is the Thor 1200 No, that's Platinum. not it. It's neither it's of neither those. It's neither of those. Okay, all right. I know there's like a motherboard a CPU and a graphics card and a bunch of other stuff that you shove into a case and then poof a computer. So I definitely think he's gonna be make, making fun of me. And let's grab the motherboard. Does that look like a motherboard to you? All right. Yeah. Perfect. We've gone with the Crosshair 8 Dark Hero from ASUS ROG. It's got a great mix of IO thanks to its X570 chipset. So you got that two and a half gigabit networking, SLI support, LOL, rip SLI. <laughs> Lots of overclocking features, great cooling, tons of M.2 expansion, and wow, that's a lot of USB 3 ports. So do you have a lot of USB 3 peripherals, Emma? I just heard random numbers. Yeah, it doesn't ways. matter. You don't have to plug in any USB. It's, it's fine. You can just, um, okay. you can use PS2. I have a PS3. Can you give her a look at everything on the table here? So Emma, what would you pick next? So if I remember from the, the other videos, mm -hmm. Ah, you, you prepared. The, uh, Clever. The tiny thing, which is the CPU. Mm -hmm, the tiny thing. Right. Please point me at the, the tiny the thing. Ryzen. 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 Very nice. I like it. We're off to a good start here, ladies and gentlemen. So you are going to be equipped with a Ryzen 7 5800X. That's right, my friends. Emma is not only getting this machine for free, she's getting parts you basically can't even buy. Now tell me something. Why exactly do you need eight processing cores? You're gonna be playing some Fortnites? I'm gonna take on editing and directing videos. At directing videos? So. 
Yeah, like short skits and stuff. Fascinating. Okay, well, you won't be doing any of that unless you figure okay. out how to get the CPU in the socket. So oh, uh, I already yeah. opened um, up the thing. Okay, you're getting ahead of yourself here, Emma. How do we put the thing in there? So you got your CPU. What do you do next? Do you, you, you lifted the bar uh, already? Uh, so, the... Yeah, I got to pretend I don't know how to build a computer here. <laughs> so you lift the bar. Sure, yep. I can't get it up. It's stuck. Oh, no, there it goes. <laughs> and then you lift the black cover thing. Lift the black cover right? thing. Well, I can try. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Or... Lift the black cover. Well, there's a cover kind of here. No, no. Hold on. I'm trying to find more black covers for you, Emma. But maybe it, maybe it's not the black cover. All I'm allowed to do is follow your instructions, Emma. I oh really God. wish I could help you, but I this can't. I don't make the rules here. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Okay, I will give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. There's no black cover. You probably watched a previous ROG rig reboot, didn't you? I okay. did. You're trying to install an AMD CPU using an Intel method. Dun, 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 dun. So now that you know there's no cover, what can you tell me about which way it goes in the socket? I know that there's like a dot. A dot, you say? On the, is there a dot on the CPU? Okay, can you find a dot for me? I don't see any. You don't anything. see any dot? No. How bad is her video feed? There's definitely a dot. <laughs> is it on the bottom left? It is on the bottom left. <gasps> Ooh. All right. So where does the dot go? All right. Okay. So you match up the dot with the match triangle. Match up the dot correct? with the triangle. Okay. Here we go, boys. You ready? Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh, no. You got it. You got to lay oh, it flat. Oh, I lay it flat. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Here we go. But you got to flip it upside flip down. Flip it upside oh, down. Yeah, the other way. Like this way? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then way. make sure that the dot... No, no, that's just the way you had it. You make sure the pins are on the bottom. Pins are on the bottom. I see. Okay. All right. You have installed yourself a CPU, Emma. It might be dead by now, but hey, it's in there. <laughs> All right, what do we do next? Oh, wait, the RAM. The RAM. You can we do can the RAM, do the RAM. Right? Yeah, it's a great dance. It goes like this. Do the RAM. Do the RAM. See, so put... Or put, put the RAM. On put the, the RAM on the motherboard. Got it. So I just put them on the motherboard. So I think it's the the side closest to the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's the you put them into those slots right mm -hmm. there, and you put one side in and then the other till it clicks. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Then maybe it's not that. Is it the other way? Do you have to put mm, it in the other way? Try that. No. It just seems like it's too wide. All right. It's like it's closed or something. Do you pull? Oh, do you pull the little Ooh, tab? Oh, that seems like a good idea. Let's try that. <gasps> Okay, and then I push in one side and then, and then the other. Okay. Yeah. I heard it. That sounded good. Yeah, that did sound good, actually. All right, all right. Okay, now, whoa, this is a tough one. Where does the next one go? Do you put RAM next to each other? I don't know. You're the one who's building the computer, aren't you? Just put it, do the same thing that you did with the last mm -hmm. one, but the next row over. The next row over? All right, Emma. Should I break it to her? Emma, your RAM is running in single channel mode. Joke's on you, you think I know what that means. <laughs> All right, I will give you a tech tip. We're gonna move it over one slot and that's going to double our memory bandwidth, which is a big improvement in performance on AMD Ryzen platforms, all right? Whew, CPU, RAM, and motherboard. We're like 30% of the way there. What's next? What's the, the, the other tiny boxes? Mm, mm -hmm, yeah. Can you zoom, zoom So in? those are from Crucial. We have an MX500 two and a half inch solid state drive, and we have a P5 NVMe M.2 solid state drive in a two terabyte and one terabyte capacity, respectively. M.2, that sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Are they both M.2? They are not. One is two and a half inch and one is M.2. I don't know what the difference is, but I know that you put one of them on the motherboard mm -hmm. or both mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say M.2. M.2, all right. You are M.2, correct. All right. I was rooting for you there. I really was. Thank okay, you. where does it go? Now I'm rooting against you. Oh, wait, does that say M.2? That says M.2. Brandon, you totally led the witness. Okay, leading you, the Brandon. witness. <laughs> okay. All right. What should I do now? So I know that one, one side you put into the black bar on the right next to the screw. And then do you just screw it on? I guess so. Hmm, I don't know. It seems like we're missing something. It doesn't go all the way down. Or do you do you screw the, the top back the on? The top back on. I mean, hmm, technically not, um, 
Ooh, it would work, but it's really not correct. Uh, I'm gonna help you out here, Emma. Yes, screwing in the heat spreader <laughs> would actually hold the drive in place, but we're gonna open up the motherboard box and get the little um, nut and screw oh. that need to go in there first. Do you put the fan on now? Emma, there's no wrong answers. Just dumb answers. Well, I've been wrong for most of this so far. So we're gonna put the fan on? And this yeah. here is what you had identified as the fan, is that correct? Is that, the, yeah, the cooler? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cooler, that's a good That's a good word for it. Now we've got a big old long boy, as I have been informed, you Zoomers call these things. Specifically spelled B-O-I. That's it, that's all. Okay, so the, the, the long boy yeah. is what you attach to the motherboard, mm -hmm. correct? All right, we can try that. And then that goes over the CPU. What, what does? You attach the uh, the circular part. The circular part. part. Mm -hmm. Yep, goes over the CPU. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm assuming you want me to pull this plastic off. Oh, yeah. That, that yeah, would that probably be good. good. And then a little top. Oh, do you have to take the screws off first? Um, It's going to take a while, Brennan. Here we go. I feel like this was the wrong answer. Here we go. Uh, do you put the, the mounting bracket on top of what it now? What the heck? There we go. Beautiful. That does not look mm, right. Really doesn't, does it? So do you put do you put the the cooler on it and then the mountain Ooh, bracket? I, oh. I think Emma might just surprise all those haters out there who, unlike me, were not rooting for her the whole time, which I was. All right, so we got it. We got it. Are those are those threaded? They are. They're the, threaded. All right. So then we have to find, can I see the manual you again? You sure can. Or just what's the options that I have? Well, here, here's the here's the things you have. Can you see through the baggies? Actually, it might be the ones on the right. Oh, let's try it. Now guys, in fairness to Emma, this is actually very difficult. Her video feed, if it's anywhere near as bad as mine, is not great. <laughs> I hate to say this, but it's very clear. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. <laughs> All right, just gotta tighten up these nuts and then we're good. Sorry, what's that? Is it all right? All right. All right. All right, partner. Just keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. It's uh, 3.20. <sighs> do you know who, uh, for me, do you know who Fred Durst is? Yeah, I know. That's fine, don't worry about it. I wouldn't say I was a fan, but it's just, you know, just just know who he is, that's all. What are we doing next, Emma? Help me out here, help me endure uh, this. I guess, I guess we put it into the case? Put it into the case? Ah! And it's white? It is white as <gasps> the driven snow, Emma. Now tell me something. Do any of your friends have like sick gaming rigs? Like have you actually like tried out playing on a full-fledged gaming machine? At the Microsoft store. The Microsoft store, huh? I played Minecraft there once. Wow, so this is just gonna be a whole new experience <laughs> for you then. Oh, that's fun, that's great. So what do we do next? Take the glass panel off. Sure, let's take the glass panel off. Okay, and I believe, ah, as is ROG Rig Reboot tradition, we are actually going to be custom engraving one of the panels for you, but you need to select your preferred artwork or style. Oh, I don't know. I haven't thought of it. You gotta think hard. This is a decision that you're Can gonna I... have to live with for literally years. Way, right. much, way more Done. of a big deal. Yeah. I want a hot you dog. You want a hot dog. She requested a hot dog. All right. <clears throat> Alex is gonna create something for you. We're gonna engrave it on the side panel with our Glowforge laser. We're actually gonna have the link to that down below if you guys wanna check it out. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and do what you said we were gonna do, which is put this in there. I mean, look how like dongly schwongly this is. Oh, oh man, what a mess. Oh, okay, so the, the ports, I know that goes on the, the back side. Mm -hmm. Yep, ports on the back side, okay. So I guess like that, you'd put it in that way. So like that? Mm -hmm. And then do you, do you screw it in through the back panel? Screw it in through the back panel. I mean, boy, we could sure try. Oh, it fell, it fell completely out of the case. Ooh, that's pretty rough. I don't think it's good for motherboards to fall like that. I mean, we could try one more time if you want. 
Or, or, oh, or not. Or, or, yeah, or I don't know. Well, seems to me our main problem is that our motherboard keeps falling out of our case. Can you think of any way we could solve that problem? Do you put the, the cooler on first? Like, do you attach it to the top? I mean, yeah, we could sure try. Oh, whatever you say that doesn't end well. <laughs> Where do you want it? Do you put it on the top? Uh, like, on the, the roof mm. of the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, do the instructions on the, the cooler manual they not show what to do? Would you look at that on the very next page? Is, is that the bag of black screws that we haven't oh, used? Oh, I bet it is. You probably attach the fans to the to the long boy. To the long boy. Fans to the long boy. We got this. Okay. Whew. There's so many different ways that we could put them on, though. This is a lot harder than I expected. Which way does it go on, though? This way or this way? That way. Which way? You. This way? The other way. Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. Because that looks like the prettier that side. That looks like the prettier side. You know what? I mean, wrong method, right answer. Um, good job. Okay, so we've got a slight problem though. Uh, I'm trying to put the radiator where you told me to put it, and I'm getting some drag here. I seem to have some baggage. Uh, well, could you just lift the, the motherboard up and just set it on the little... You want me to just put it there? Just... Yeah, can oh you do that? God. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. Oh, there we go. So how many screws do I have to put in this puppy? Are there four, how many mm. holes? Uh, there, are, there are 12 holes. Oh, well then 12 screws? Fine. If there's... Fine! Are there 12 screws? Yes, there are 12 screws. All right, then I'm sticking with 12. Fine. I'm just gonna stand on this box so I can reach. Oh, line is too short. See, this is the problem. This is the problem with these ROG Rig Reboot winners. You know, they start out all shy and they're like, oh, Linus, please teach me things. And then by the end of it, they're like, Haha, what a loser, he's not even tall. You don't look that tall yourself. I mean, I'm 5'6". I'm 5'6", five, six. Five, six. yeah, see, that's not very tall. You're not even much taller than me. So there you go. <laughs> well, now, since you're standing on the yeah, stool. Yeah, 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 the stool helps a lot. <laughs> That's a really tall yeah, stool. Yeah, it's actually your monitor, so it might be broken, so the joke's on you. So that monitor, that monitor is one of the focus products for ASUS for this thing. 4K, 144 hertz, HDR 400, and may be functional after Linus stands on it. Well, that was relatively painless, other than that you made me put in like three times as many screws as was necessary. Now what? Um. You can't keep kicking this motherboard problem down the line here. All right, let's, let's, okay, put the motherboard in. And then do you screw it in? Oh, or do you not screw it in? Oh, that's an idea. Man, if only there was some way we could have screwed in the motherboard, I don't know, 45 <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, how? So you want me to put them in from the back, right? Uh, hey, Brandon, help me out. He can't hear you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing this side, because he hasn't moved to the other side, so I'm gonna say this side. Yes, it's on this side. <laughs> now I know why people watch some of the simpler tech channels. What are your favorite tech channels, Emma? Linus Tech Shut up. Tips. What are the ones you actually watch? Actually, you're the only tech channel oh, I watch. Right. I don't think she even watches this channel. What's your favorite video? My favorite video was the one where you went to the store that I micro was at Micro Center, and you built like a really expensive computer, and you sold it to a girl for like twenty bucks. Okay, that is that was my favorite. That is one. an actual video we actually made that there would be no reason for you to know about unless you actually watch the channel. All right, fine. So there's your power supply. Uh, are there any wires in the box? Uh, wires in the box. Hmm. Or instructions. Or instructions. <laughs> this is it. She's figured out this instructions hack. Now she's just gonna cheat her way through life. Well, there you have it, folks. It's time to play Do You Need That Wire? This is our contestant, Emma. She has shown herself to be a capable guesser. Do you need it? Uh, yeah. No. No. I'm just gonna say yes. 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 
this yes answer seems to be working, so yes. No! No. Correct. All right. Um, I got distracted. I started just kind of building the computer on my own there. So I put the, <laughs> I put the power supply in the back for you. You're welcome. Um, and I plugged in the rest of the modular cables. And then all we've got left is these three connectors for our graphics card and... Right. Are there any other components to install then? Well, I guess graphics card. Graphics card, you guess. You are getting an RTX 3080, which short of the 3090, which is basically unobtainium, is as fast <laughs> as it gets for gaming graphics cards. This thing's got RGB lighting up the wazoo, a gigantic cooling patch, ton of heat pipes, three fans, it's extremely quiet, and of course, it'll run Fall Guys, and I guarantee you, hundreds of frames per second. But can it run Angry Birds? It can run Angry Birds at, if it doesn't do it at hundreds of frames per second, I will personally eat it. I will eat this graphics card if it doesn't run Angry Birds to your satisfaction. How do we install it now? So I think you have to take one of the uh, brackets off on the sure, side. Sure, let's try that. Right? Which one? And let me see the, let me see the graphics card. Mm, sure. All right, so I'll say the, like, the, the black, black one. one. The black one. The top black, black one. one. That's and, a great start. And maybe the white maybe one, the white one underneath it as well. Do you just mount it now with the... Just mount it, she says. I'm... Leaves it entirely to my imagination. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I have no idea. Are there instructions? <laughs> you and your instructions. Step one, power off your computer and unplug the power cables. Step two, remove the chassis cover and locate the PCI Express slot. Where is the PCI Express slot? Isn't it, isn't it the hole we just made or is it the, the one? Yeah, that one? This hole? Is that it? I think that's just a yeah. hole. I don't think that's a slot. All right, then is it the one to your right? You mean this one? No. It's the, the vertical. This. Rectangle. No, that's also just a hole. Yeah. Yep, that's a hole. Okay. Right. Is it is it the two bars on the, the motherboard? Two bars. These? Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That. PCI Express slot. Got it. Step four, insert the card into the slot until it is firmly in place. So this way then? The fans face up or down? No. No? Definitely does Definitely not, does like, not that. like that. Yeah, you were right the first time, okay. I think. You know, it's like, it's so funny because it's not a totally unfair thing to assume that the fans would go up because it seems kind of right side up. It's just, it's fascinating. It's fascinating for me. It's, it's the letters. I think that should have shown The letters. Me. Yep, the letters are right side up now. That's a good thing. How do you like that, RGB? That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. That actually does look great. Is there a... It's very pretty. Is there a... <gasps> Wait, the motherboard lights yeah, up too? Motherboard lights up. You're going to be surprised at all the things that light up on this thing. It's going to be pretty lit. All right. Good job, Emma. You built a computer. We did it. <laughs> all by yourself. Well, let's be honest. If it wasn't for the instructions, I mean. At least you give credit to your cheats. That's, that's better than many gamers can do. Oh, wow. You got all kinds of like fun white stuff. Check out these headphones. They're white. White headphones. Ooh. I have a question for you. If All you right. could have any image, any graphic on the face of the earth projected from the bottom of your monitor's butt onto your table, what would it be? A bat symbol. A bat symbol. I don't really remember what the bat symbol looks like. Now, I could look it up, I guess, but that feels like it would be cheating. All right, there it is. So somewhere, I think we landed somewhere in between pretty decent and amazing, right? Is that safe to say? It sort of looks like a mosquito and a bat. And aside from this monitor having basically every gaming feature that matters, so you got your G-Sync, 144 Hz, 4K, HDR, look at that. <laughs> RGB on the back. Whoa. Where you'll never see it. Because it'll be against the wall. But you'll know it's there. Man, this keyboard is sick. That looks so good. Uh, we also got, this is pretty cool. You've got a mouse pad with a built-in Qi charging thing. So you can put your Qi charging mouse on there, or you can just game on the bottom of it, and you can like put your phone there to charge. Now under normal circumstances, one of the really fun parts of these videos is for you to like experience, <laughs> you know, elite gaming performance, you know, for the first time 
on your like brand new machine, but instead you're just gonna have to live vicariously through me, I suppose. Um, so it's gonna be like watching any other video. Uh, what game shall we play, <laughs> Emma? We've got Doom Eternal. Angry Birds. Sorry? Angry Birds. <laughs> um, if we're gonna play Angry Birds, we might as well play it at 120 hertz. I could put it to 144. Actually, does this do uh, 144 4K without Chroma subsampling? I guess I can find out easily enough. Well, lucky you, Emma. Unlike their first generation 4K 144 hertz display, this one has display stream compression, so you can run 144 hertz without weird fringing on your text. No fringing, but nice and smooth. See, how smooth are those, how smooth is that bird? Look at that smooth Angry Bird. I promised you hundreds of FPS in Angry Birds, didn't I? Or you would eat the graphics card, that's that's what I recall you saying. Um, I don't know if I remember the part about eating a graphics card. All right, why don't we try an actual game? <laughs> okay, right. how about Fall Guys? You like Fall Guys? Is Fall Guys dead now? I feel like it kind of lost its hype. What? Didn't Fall Guys lose its hype? You gotta be kidding me, things happen this fast? Is Fall Guys dead? No, it's not dead. Chase says it's not dead, and he's like your age. I promised hundreds of frames per second, didn't I? In Fall Guys? Does that say, what does that say? 600? Well, I don't know how they do rounding in Florida schools, but 680 would round up to 700 here in Canada. Oh. So I'm counting it as 700. There you go. Get out of my way. Get out of my way! You got this, I'm going. you might qualify. I got places to go, people to see. Yes! Woo! Yes. Barely sneaking under the wire. This is a great Fall Guys computer, by the way. We're running at 1,300 frames per second at the moment. Here we go. Get out of my way, guys. Get out of my way. I had it. <laughs> I had the victory in my hands. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So close. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to pop. Okay. It's good thing this is your monitor. Don't. And I don't want to break it. Oh. One more thing though, we do need to show you your side panel. Oh, perfect. It looks great. I mean, better than I imagined actually. Well, thanks for playing. This was lots of fun. Now I'm all, now I'm all <laughs> agitated. So I'm not gonna blame the computer, but this might not have been as good a Fall Guys computer as I thought, because clearly we all saw what happened there. But uh, hey, Congratulations on building your first PC, winning ROG Rig Reboot. Massive thank you to Asus and Emma for being good sports. Guys, check out the links to where you can find all of the sweet ROG gear that we featured today in the video description, and we will see you at the next one. That's right, ROG Rig Reboot, it's happening for real. Two more videos are coming.